I asked thousands of people what the best way is to do the angelic key mission, so you can do it as fast as possible. So if you want to save a few hours of your time to get the key, make sure to stick around, starting with beating the angelic warden's obstacle course. So you can't just do this with any creature, but luckily I did my research and figured out that the Puffwump is the best creature to do this with. It's only 10 Robux in the trial store, so uh, make sure to get one. Also, if you have the luxury of having growth tokens, make sure to use two because it's definitely a lot easier with a adult Puffwump. Now once you spawn in, you want to go to this location where my friend is. Hello cat, how are you doing? I'm good. Um, Puffwump still jumps very high. Does it? Oh, it really does. That's... Oh my. So what you want to do as a Puffwump, get on top of this little ledge, and there's a giant teleport here. You literally cannot miss it. For if you're looking for the map, here it is. So once you're here, you're going to have to teleport, and you will go all the way up to this massive obstacle course. Uh, just make sure to not fall off. So over here, all we have to do is do a little obby. Don't touch the red lines. I don't know if you have ever played an obby, but... Um, it's, it's quite the amusing thing to do. So this beginning part is quite easy, uh, and I believe these are checkpoints, so that's actually quite yeah. handy to have. Luckily, if you leave the obby and then go back in, it says wherever your checkpoint was. Oh, okay, so if you need food, you can literally just go away and come back. That's actually quite nice. Yeah. You have to press E in order to save it though. Yeah, make sure you press E on them, like otherwise you're gonna lose your progress. So what I recommend to make this easier for you is jump and use your shift to go forward. So if you press shift, you will go forwards and you don't have to steer anything whatsoever. It's a lot more easier to do it this way. So that's why I told you to use a uh, puff firm. I fell off at the last one. Oh, did you? I may have fallen off at the last one. Ah, uh, that's not good. Uh, is, is this a checkpoint? Yes, it is. Okay, and now over here we have a glass maze. So what you want to do for the glass maze, there's an entrance here and get in. Now it's a lovely path. You got to go all the way around here and go in the first one. Then you're going to have to turn and go to the right here. Just keep on going. It's, uh, it, it's quite challenging, but it will be all right. It will be all right. Now, all we have to do is go this way. Oh, this is a this is a lovely maze. This is a lovely maze. I'm just gonna follow this guy real quick because this is the exit. So once you get to these little plants, all you wanna do is go to the right and then we can go to the right here. And just follow this path. And I believe all we have to do is go through here. That's all. But um, but we gotta go through here. <laughs> oh, I'm 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 doing this in such a lovely way. Just literally follow along with the footage. It's it's really not that hard, but it is. But it's not. Just take your time. This is a really lovely maze. This is a very lovely maze. But we're almost at the ending now. All we have to do is go straight here, and right around the left here, I believe, is the ending. So all we have to do is go to the right here, and there we go. Now this entire thing is just literally going straight, it's not really that hard. So literally walk here and towards the ending of here, I believe there might be a checkpoint. After you complete that, there's a little bit more parkour. It really isn't that challenging, to be honest. Second checkpoint after the uh, maze. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a challenging part. Make sure to utilize your shift button. With shift you go forwards. Keep an eye on your stamina as well, because if your stamina depletes, uh, you're not going to be able to do anything. And take your sweet time with this, because if you don't, you're going to fall over and you're going to waste more time. And here we are, Volcanic Obby. Now, we can just jump to the- oh, no, you, you gotta jump. I believe you can jump to this pillar in one go, like it's not that challenging. And from here, you can also jump to this little pillar, so that's- <gasps> Oh, 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 okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, okay, okay. Here we go. We're just gonna take our time from now on because I don't want to mess up. This is probably gonna be very painful on a tablet. So if you're on phone, tablet, or whatever you use, I don't know what you use. Um, good luck. <laughs> So be careful if you're hunger and thirst, because that still does go down. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's another thing. Just make sure to watch out for that. As long as you just spawn in, you should be good. Okay, we made it to the next part, and this is uh, lovely glass, but it's seeable. I made it over the glass part here. Uh, Obi checkpoint, and then we go up here. We're almost towards the end. So these jumps are literally quite easy. You can jump over it and literally go around it if you really wanted to as well. So don't worry about this part. This part is literally the easiest ever. This is literally just a giant Obi. I, quite, I kind of actually like this. 
So, uh, I'm gonna have to hurry up because my uh, food and hunger is, uh, or my, fi my food and thirst is depleting quite quickly. So I'm gonna try and speedrun this. <gasps> As I fall off, that's that's <laughs> that's how I speedrun. I do like that they added uh, a little bit of variety to uh, creature scenario by using all these skulls and everything in it. That's quite lovely, really. There's a lot of obby pods. Um, just. Again, take your time with it. It's gonna be okay. And here we go. Just make sure not to fall off here because you will probably die inside. But we almost made it. This is the angelic key. And bam, here we go. So after completing the obby, all you have to do is go here and you can click obby checkpoint and you complete it. And if you're lucky. It says beat the angelic warden's obstacle course. Now for the next mission, discover all of the warden shrines. I do recommend you getting a Squitico. It's <laughs> it's quite a nice creature, really. It's a, a semi-aquatic glider, so you'll be able to use it basically anywhere. So we had a very lucky spawn. So the first shrine is over here in Volcano. Make sure you go in this little cave and right behind the little lava flow, we have the Gara Warden Shrine. If we go here, I believe we can click inspect and then we have the first shrines. Seven more to go. So from here we're gonna leave the cave and we're gonna go over here on this sky island. On here is the Novus Warden Shrine. So you can click inspect again and there we go. Now all we have to do is jump straight down. All you have to do is go in this water and just go down. This is why I told you to get the Squidigo because uh, <laughs> you will not be able to do this with a land creature. Now once you are here you're gonna go through this tunnel. I will swim up real quickly so you can see where it is. So this is the environment and there's a little patch right there. So go through this little cave and over here you have the uh, pearl mission but also the uh, what is what is the fish called again? Egen. Yeah so you have the Egen Warden Shrine so make sure to collect this one. There we go. That's three out of eight. Now uh, I prefer going back to the menu at this point because I don't want to swim back up. So from there you can pick basically any fast flying creature. I prefer the Subi myself and we spawn right where we left off. Now we're gonna go to jungle slash pride rocks because in this little cave over here we have translations. Now if you go through these translations we will see the angelic warden shrine. Now if we go here, we discovered it and that's 4 out of 8. So after that we're gonna go to Swamp which is this direction and we wanna go to this location in particular. Here we have the Ardor Warden Shrine, just make sure to claim it and that is 5 out of 8. Next up we have the Boreal Statue which is located down here in a cave. So once you get to this area, all you have to do is literally fly down in this giant blue wall and here we have the Boreal Statue. Claim that, uh, uh, claim, claim, thank you, claim that and you have 6 out of 8. Two more keys to go guys. So it is a little bit hard to see but what you want to do is go down here. Uh, sorry for the flooding, it's, it's kind of hard to see if you want to have the exact location, it's right here. Now what we're gonna do is go through this cave and here is the Hellion Warden statue. Click this one and we have one more to go. Oh, that's not the right one. We have one more to go. And the last one is in Flower Cove right over here. I'm not gonna lie, once you get in Flower Cove, you literally cannot miss it. Just fly to the opposite side and uh, it, it's quite in the open. So claim this and you have completed the mission. Now all you have to do is wait for 300,000 creatures to have grown to age 100 and you're good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.